Alrighty tubers, today we're going to work on the bullnose, but first we got to get the Lincoln out of the driveway. Uh, today we're going to try out a couple things we got from the junkyard. One is the clock uh, that would normally be in the dash. Mine's missing because I took it out because it wasn't working. And now I have it, so um, let's see if that one we picked up works. Well, I've also got some uh, wiper control modules that we need to try out. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get started. The truck hasn't been started in a few days, so she might be a little angry when she starts. Okay, are we live? Yeah, we're alive. Second battery, out of gear, fan off, and of course the air pump will turn on, which that needs to get gone. Garage is a bit messy as usual. Oh, whale. Well, uh, let's see. We've got this one. I have a bunch of interior screws for it, too, in case we're missing any. Um, I hope my plug is still there. I know I've kind of spliced into the wire, so that's going to be a thing. And then, let's see. Which control module did I want to go with? I wanted to try out this brick nose one. And if it works, then I'd like to use it because it's the newest. So, let's try that one out. I bet that's all nice and stripped up by now. It just falls right out. I don't really like to talk to people on the phone anyways when I'm driving, so this hands breathing is kind of pointless, but when you really need it, it works great. I can't even get it out. And keeps the radio from flopping around. So what I want to know is where is my plug? I might have snipped her off. I don't remember. I think I did snip it off. There's like two more wires going to it. I kind of need a flashlight. I don't have one in here. Well, shoot, I think I did, uh, I did cut that plug. Yeah, because the two wires for it are right there and they're, one of which is going to, it's the, uh, oh, what is it? I think I got one that's actually the turn on because I couldn't find anything else. And then there's another one that's the illumination. So that's kind of, Boogered up. There's my uh, speaker wire. Yeah. Oh, well, shoot. I see I left the screws for the clock in there. That's good. Huh. Well, I guess I'm going to slam this back together and we'll work on the actual problem with this truck. I may come back to this or find a way to test it. And if it works, maybe I can sell it for a bunch of money. So I've got a big wiring harness here for my switches and stuff here. And then I want to see if I can reach under here somewhere. You guys can't even see a thing. I'm going to try and get to that. Switch. I can feel the, the module is right there. 
and I'm on the plug right now. Oh, there we go. That's my harness. Where's my... Where's the round plug I was just on? Yeah, connections don't look too bad. Grab that brick nose one. Brick nose, brick nose. There you go. I think the only reason why this harness is longer is because it's mounted in a different spot on the brick nose. It's mounted like over here. That's why they gave you the longer harness. Otherwise, I opened this up and it looked like the construction of it was the same. That's going to our module. This is going, um, this is coming from the motor to the switch. Let's see, does this plug in? And it does. And then, all right, a little bit of fight, but I got it. Let's, uh, see if that wiper control module works. Looks like it's working. And it parks. Nice, pretty consistent. Spray's working a little better. That could just be my imagination. Nice, okay. So I think that's working. What do we got? There are a couple of screws here holding that module in. Well, I, I'll get that out of there. And I'll swap over the bracket, get that put away. And I think we're good to go. Oh, it's funny, I'm doing my, doing my videos with the GoPro. Ah, crap. Anyways, here's the old module. I forgot what I was saying, it doesn't matter. Uh, that goes towards the connectors. Wanna see what's inside? I don't see any broken solder joints. No shit stains. It's also possible there were dirty connections. I do see one that looks a little sketchy. Looks like maybe a ground. Not entirely sure, but could even be a bad uh, relay in here, so. That's entirely possible. <clears throat> so I'm not too worried about this one. It's uh, 37 years old now? Yeah. 37. Hey, I'm 27 this next March. I hate this pot metal crap. It's all gritty feeling. Alright, I'm gonna go stab this one in there and uh, get her hooked back together. I also switched out my floor lamp assembly. This is in pretty decent shape, but for whatever reason, I think that tab needs to be sanded down or something because it's not making good connection with the bulb. So I have my truck lights up inside. So now I got that figured out. All right, back in a bit. All right, looks like you guys thaw it out. Camera's been out in the garage for the last few days. Um, went ahead and took my module apart. This is the one that was out of it. Um, I don't, there's no, nothing obvious, nothing visually, no shit stains or anything. Um, I measured this capacitor with the voltmeter here, and 
and um, this is rated for 500 microfarad. Um, I got 600 out of it, so the capacitor is probably still good. So this is that white stuff I've seen on the end. That could just be the plastic when this was made, getting stretched out. Um, I don't know how to test these other guys here. These you got. Uh, um, get off my finger. You got resistors. And then you've got some rectum fryers. Uh, I'm not sure what this guy is here. Might be a solid state capacitor. 68 microfarad. So it is. 50 volt. And then you've got that guy back there. I don't know what that is. Choke. Is it a choke? Not sure. Then there's a the relay. And so the relay. Um, this gets commanded to turn on, you know, the the wipe the wiper motor. Um, but there could be something in here that's causing it to click off. Like if there's too much resistance in something, it probably heats up and then it clicks off. You know, it's probably got some kind of thermal um, protection in there. So maybe we'll pop that cover off and see if there's anything sketchy going on in there. All right, this relay, the little cover is held on by just the plastic friction. Uh, Shrek. Shrek. So this here is a little plate that gets pulled down by this electromagnet. And it looks like it works a couple different ways. So probably when it commands the wipers to go on, this is pulled inward. This makes the contact to keep the motor going or not. And then, and then when you take away power, this probably goes into a resting position, and then that tells the wiper motor to park. Because we have two contacts on this side, so that it looks dirty. And then I don't know how well you can see it here, but that looks pretty dirty too. So I wonder if it was uh, creating resistance we could probably check it I don't know how so got my new motorcraft well it's not new anymore it's well used now um, this has been working great um, however to supplement it you guys remember the red top well this red top has revived itself well not by itself solely. It um, I put on the charger and it ran for almost two days, like a day and a half or so. And um, ever since then, this has been working fantastic. It has no problem starting and running the Lincoln, and it has no problem supplying additional chooch to the bullnose here and starting this 4BT up. Uh, so yeah, I just. Put this in here. I had some cables laying around. Um, this one I uh, did some. I did a thing to shorten it, and then run it to the block here, and then um, so we're grounded at the block. I had this IDI cable um, in one of my electrical bins, and so I just hooked it up here. You know, slammed it in here, and it comes down. I had to do some stuff there to join that to one of these other cables I had already made. And uh, so now it's connected here. And then I had some, I uh, <clears throat> had another relay here. I had a relay already hooked up um, from a set of lights I've removed because um, I'm planning on doing something totally different later on. So I've got an activator wire here. Ground, I think, just goes to right on the fender. But anyways, when I turn that switch on, it activates this relay and it connects that battery to this battery. And I mostly just run off this battery here. And then when I need some assistance, I click on my relay. That battery connects over here, and I've doubled my amperage. And it keeps her cranking without going round, 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 round. Anyways. I think that's going to be it for this video. If you guys want to see more, subscribe and uh, check out our future projects that are going to be coming up. 
Oh, I got something for that. Oh, I got something for that. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do, and I got more. It's on the way. But wait, there's more. I've got a, I saw it, but this is a vacuum canister from an Explorer. Um, I got rid of the S10 reservoir that was over here. So I got a nice one from an Explorer. Um, I am going to be getting rid of this electric vacuum pump, which is kind of out of frame. And I will soon be replacing it with a um, it's it's gonna get replaced with a better setup let's just put it that way let's see if I can poke this screw through the other side bastard. Now I need a ratchet. We're going to send her home. This is great. solid that's pretty sweet <laughs> yeah that there's a lot of room here for stuff I think when I get rid of this um, I'm gonna get rid of this uh, compressor here or vacuum pump rather um, going to probably build a box right here and that's where it's gonna house an air filter And it looks like I'm going to get a front cover gasket. This one's been reused a couple of times. So look where she's leaking oil right here. And we're going to get a whole new bracket set up for this. So we'll have a uh, 3G alternator in here. Um, let's see what else. I was going to put... Uh, I'm going to have an AC compressor and everything in here. It's all going to mount like right here. So that'll, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. And then I can get rid of this and I'm actually going to get some kind of air box that will sit here. And then um, that way it'll have a proper air box. Um, yeah. You know, I still got to fix that. Still haven't done it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, soups. There, that, that cleaned up that. And later. Well, all of this stuff, I gotta get a new uh, switch for this, and that'll go ahead. And then this will go over to our AC compressor. It's just been sitting here, waiting to be used. And just, yeah, I gotta do a little bit of cleanup. It's not too bad, though. It's seen worse. Uh, I don't even know what this green wire here is. Oh, I know what this green wire here is for. Um, oh, look at that. I'm gonna have to fix that properly. Let me do that a little janky. Um, there is in here. I think there's just one more. Ah, yes. This was for. This is a fan turn on. So when you click on the AC, um, this would run over and it's gonna turn on an electric fan. So that's one thing I was gonna put electric fans in here. I should order those this week and put get those installed. And then we can run that over. So that way when you put defrost or or air conditioning on, it'll kick one of those fans on. I remember, I have, that's been set up for 
years and years now and I just haven't gotten to dealing with that and I think this year we're going to get that done. I like that, that reservoir set up there. I like it. It looks a lot cleaner. Cool. And we're not done tinkering. This is not turning off. And uh, I, I've actually taken this off and like plugged it up here. Still, still shuts off or <laughs> still stays running. I'm actually thinking about doing a little rebuild on this. Since I have the kit, I might throw a diaphragm in it. All right, I'm gonna turn the ignition on and we'll see if she comes on. I'm gonna put my finger up here to seal it off. And if it shuts off, then we should be good there. If it doesn't, then the pump is a piece of shit. <laughs> this switch is bad. Piece of crap. All right, I'm gonna have to get on the internet and order me one. Well, not one of those. We're gonna get the Dodge Cummins set up. Which uh, replaces my power steering pump right there. So yeah, we'll be doing that. All right, so I'm gonna be ordering the, the pump set up for this. And then I am going to um, well, see this steering gear right here? This is from that white IDI truck that I once had. Sold that because it was a pain in the ass. Um, well, uh, this steering gear is from that, and it's leaking, and it's got a ton of slop in it now. So I am not just going to be getting a steering gear, just any steering gear. I'm going to be getting the Super Duty steering box, and we're going to do the Super Duty steering gear upgrade. I've already looked into it before all everything is like fitting wise and the steering shaft and all that stuff all of that is pretty much um, the same except the box itself is a much better deal see I got I don't have any this coupling here is in pretty good shape it's pretty stout however all my play is Somewhere here in the box. I could maybe try and adjust it. You know, otherwise, there really isn't any play um, after the steering gear. Everything's tight. It's just because there's play in here, it's kind of tossing me around a little bit. I don't like it, too. Ooh, I'm gonna try out one of my new hammers. See, got new hammers. Nice, that worked great. Make sure you turn that screw in and not out. If you go out, it loosens the steering. If you go in, it tightens the steering. Oh yeah, it's all kinds of loose now. what it acts like. Well, it's moving. It's got just a tiny bit still in it, but it's it doesn't feel metally. You know when you got play in the metal? All right, let's take her for a test spin. Oh, 
still feels vague in the center of it. It's like really, I just fucking hate that. Now to find out if my wiper is intermittently. They work intermittently, yes.